Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about thermochemical equations. So a chemical equation that we've looked at before is reactants coming together, form products, and we balance that out to make sure that we have a balance of mass. A thermochemical equation is all we're doing is throwing, throwing in some thermodynamical information. In this case, information about the change in enthalpy. So in this reaction, what we're told is that one mole of N2 reacts with one mole of O2 to give us two moles of NO2. When that happens, we get this change in enthalpy, right? And we also know that this is related to our heat exchange, right? Enthalpy tells us how much heat is released or absorbed in a reaction. This is positive, lets us know that it's an endothermic reaction. It's absorbing heat as the reaction happens. Now, why do we use this and how do we use this? Okay, so there's a few ways that we wanna make sure we can observe some information from this. Number one, we can go ahead and we can look and see there's a relationship now between the amount of reactants and amount of products to the amount of heat absorbed or released, in this case absorbed. So 182 kilojoules corresponds to one mole of N2, one mole of O2, or two moles of NO2. So now we see kind of like we've used mole ratios where we have uh, two moles of NO2 corresponds to or equates to one mole of N2 reacting, okay, we have this mole ratio. We also have the same is true now for our enthalpy change. So we can say for every two moles of NO2 reacted, that's gonna equate to an enthalpy change of 182 kilojoules. Okay, so now it hopefully connects us to this mole relationship, right? Which now we can go ahead We've used this and made these into ratios, mole ratios, this is an equality, we can do the same thing here. So we can say two moles of NO2 would equate to 182 kilojoules for our enthalpy change. Or we could also write the inverse. 182 kilojoules equates to two moles of NO2. Okay, now well, what happens if we change the amounts that we react, right? So if I were to have, for example, 2N2 and 2O2 going to 4NO2, well now what would that do to my change in enthalpy? Now my change in enthalpy is not still 182 kilojoules, now it's 364 kilojoules, right? That's two times our 100 and 82 kilojoules for my original reaction. Now why did I say it's double? Comparing these two, all the coefficients are multiplied by two. So now we see the enthalpy change that we write here is dependent upon how we write our reaction. So we change the coefficients, right? We multiply all them by two, by three, divide them by two, divide them by three. We would do the same to our enthalpy. So we see our enthalpy change recorded here and our thermochemical equation corresponds to the amounts that we're actually reacting here, right? And we would see the ratios are still the same. So now if we go back to our original ratio, looking at this equation, we could say it's four moles of NO2 equates to an enthalpy change of 364 kilojoules, just like we did here. Well, that ratio is still two to 182. So it's still the same ratio, it's just depending on how we wrote our coefficients here. So hopefully this gives us a good idea of how we can use thermochemical equations, what information we extract from it, and how if we manipulate them in any way, that affects how we would write out our enthalpy changes. We would do the same, we'll see, when we talk about entropy, when we talk about Gibbs free energy. What we record here corresponds to the specific amounts that we're actually reacting in each of our reactions here.